a website called momlogic.com. The following article that you might be interested in says here, this is from Mom Logic. It says, Our series, Who's Sleeping with Your Husband? Definitely created some heated conversations at home and among women. But it's the results of our survey that really have people talking. We polled over 3,300 women and discovered 52% of women have had sex with a married man. It's more than half. Wow. Mom Logic contributor Dr. Shannon Fox. Is she a fox? Probably not. Says one of the, most women named Fox are not. It's just the way it is. Says one of the reasons women will sleep with a married man is because women tend to be very competitive. She says if they can get a man who's committed to someone else, they'll take it as a win. I've always believed that, and there's a woman saying it. Says here eighty one percent of women have been approached romantically or sexually by a married man. Dr. Fox points out that 60% of married men cheat. That's all. And the 40% who don't aren't likely to be in the bar or places where these women are being hit up. If a married man is determined to cheat, he's apt to go to a bar to pick up a woman or, more commonly now, on the Internet. Only 12% of women felt guilty about cheating and only a shocking 5%. Always use the condom. <laughs> Dr. Fox says, I would suspect people who cheat with a married man often have been cheated on themselves. Is that so? Well. She says, it's their way of getting back at men who hurt them. They also blame the wife for not giving her man what he needs. It's their way of justifying it. Other statistics. 19% of women were told by the man that his wife wouldn't have sex with him anymore. Only 19%? <laughs> Not believable. 22% say the man never even told them he was married. Only 22%? And it's not the young hot thing who has her eyes on your husband. 4% talking to women, of course. 4% of women were 18 to 25 when they slept with a married man. 7% were 26 to 35 when they slept with a married man. 13% were over 35 when they slept with a married man. 18% said they did it for the thrill. 11% of women have had sex with a married man because the sex was hotter than with her own partner or other guys. Duh. 14% said the married man was more romantic than her partner. <laughs> That's delusional. Or other guys. The story goes on to say, of all the women we polled, 87% know someone who's had an affair with a married man, and 60% polled, 60% said they had considered it themselves. So does that mean your husband is destined to cheat and you have no control of preventing it? Dr. Fox says, a marriage is a kind of living, breathing organism and you have to feed it every day. <laughs> That's one verb I would use. You have to take it for walks. You have to pay attention to it. It means that you value your relationship enough to make sure that it stays together. Well, well, well. So there you go. More than half of all women have had sex with other women's husbands. So if you're doing that right now, ladies, if you're part of the 52% of women who have sex with other women's husbands, if you're having sex with another woman's husband right now, I don't mean right this second, I mean... You know, perhaps this month. If that's something you're currently doing, I want to hear all about it. Come on, you know it's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number, and we are uh, we're talking to uh, the fifty-two percent of women. 
who have sex with other women's husbands. That you? Call me. Jenny on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Jenny. I wanted to tell you, I'm 19. Yeah. And I am actually having sex with my um, teacher husband. Your uh, your teacher's husband? Yes, because I'm I'm a medical assistant, and one day we was um, trying to check for our hearts, so I had to take off my shirt, and I had on a sports bra, and he came in, I guess, to give her lunch, and he seen me. And then really? so Yes, so then I walked out to go to the bathroom, and he asked for my number, and I gave it to him. Really? And you yeah. asked for his number, huh? And then so the reason why, and he's, Forty-four. He's forty-four. Yes, and so, but the reason why is because it seems like older married men tend to do way more outrageous things. Because I told him that it was a fantasy of mine to actually have sex on my high school football field. <laughs> So we hopped the gate. It was three gates. We hopped it, and around three o'clock in the morning, we had sex on my high school football field. Really? Yes. Ah, I see. Did he punt? <laughs> Did he what? Punt. Did he punt? Never mind. Never mind, says Gary. <laughs> no. He did not punt. No. Did he kick one through the uprights? Did he kick with the upright? Did what is that? You know, at the end of the field, when you kick the field goal, you know, did he kick one through oh, the uprights? Oh, wow. No. No? No. Did he go deep? Of course, did he go deep? Yeah. He did. Real deep. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah. Did he go wide? Oh, come on, Gary. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. It's L.A. Hell, we can barely afford security guards during the day at school. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't no security guards. Well, like are there that. anybody, like, gangbangers, anybody beating or killing anybody out there? Come on. <laughs> no, it wasn't, it wasn't really none of that. It wasn't really none of that. All right, just checking. Okay, we just hopped the gate, and then that's it, and then we went home after that. He's coming to pick me up, like, in about 30 minutes. And what does he tell his wife when he's over picking you up? To be honest, I don't know what he tell her. Probably he's at work or something like that, but I don't know. And he actually has a daughter that's, like, 28. He has a daughter that's 28, really? Yeah, and I'm 19. Look at that. You love that, don't you? I do. <laughs> how, how old is your How old is your dad, Jenny? My dad is about forty six. Forty six. Yeah, my mom's about forty one. And 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 this guy is how old? He's in his forties. I think late forties, something like that. So I probably older than your dad, right? Yeah. You love that but too. He don't, but he don't look. He don't look it. I didn't even know he was that old. He but was, but you was, love that he is, right? Huh? You love that he's older than your dad, right? You're into um, that. You like that. I didn't really think about it like that. Think about it now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't really think about first, it. <laughs> first, <you're laughs> first, the guy who's coming to pick you up was born. Then your dad was born. Then you were born. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Think about it. When when your dad was graduating high school, this guy was already in college. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy this guy had sex before your dad did, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Not that I've ever been with someone nineteen and thought about stuff like that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there with you, Jenny? Oh, my uncle. Your uncle. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have a story like this? <laughs> he said, "Do you have a story like this?" I'm afraid of that. <laughs> he said he got better than this. Really? I bet he does. <laughs> <laughs> he never told it to you. No, he haven't, no. You ever wonder about your uncle and what he's up to? Yeah. Huh? Is that your dad's brother? 
No, it's like on my mom's side. It's your mom's uh, mom's brother. Yeah. Mm hmm. And your mom is how old? My mom is about 41. 41? Yeah. Think about it. The guy's coming to pick you up. But the day your mom was born, he was already going to school. Yeah, I know. What do you think about that? I think that's outrageous. You love it. Yeah, I do. I know you do. <laughs> so do you, uh, let's uh, look at what the survey said. Do you feel any guilt about this? I mean, this guy's got a wife. No, I don't, because she's actually trying to fail me in my class, so I feel good about it. Oh, see, so this is how you're going to get back at her. <laughs> right out there on the 50-yard line. Yeah. <laughs> Just amazing. <laughs> I think at the end of school year, when I walk the stage, I'm going to actually take some pictures and send it to her. Really? Yeah. Maybe you ought to use the cell phone and send them right, at the, right from the scene. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Better get those at 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice talking to you. I want to tell you my story. Well, Jenny, it was a wonderful story. I enjoyed it thoroughly. But hang on. Hang on there. I got somebody here who wants to say something to you. Let me get John on the air here. Hey, John, what did you want to say to Jenny? Tom. You got to turn the radio off, John. Say hi to Jenny. I get it up. That's the funniest thing I've ever... That's the best radio that I've ever heard. <laughs> it's hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. By the way, attention advertisers, you too can reach this prime demographic. Call our sales department immediately. <laughs> hey, uh, take me a late... By the way, Jenny, you went to Hamilton High? Is That's the high school down near Culver City, right? Yes, sir. So did you ever do anything with your teacher in the Norman J. Pattis Auditorium? Did you ever... Actually, I haven't. I was trying to, but then he wasn't going for it. Really? Yeah. Well, just remember, if you ever have sex in the Norman J. Pattis Auditorium, I believe this is uh, L.A. City law. It's L.A. Penal Code. If you have sex in the Norman J. Pattis Auditorium, when you're done, somebody has to say, Executive Producer Norm Pattis. <laughs> Brought, to <you> by. <laughs> Brought to you by Westwood One. <laughs> All right, yeah. so just remember, if you have sex in the Norman J. Pattis Auditorium, that's what you have to do. Yeah, but it's not that hard for me to really even get an older guy that's married or whatnot. Oh, I'm, really? Yeah, because I'm really, really cute and a nice body. Really? Yeah, I'm tall. I'm mix of bleach and friends. Got my tongue pairs, belly button pairs. Uh, All yeah. of it. You, you, got a little, I got a little butt on me. <laughs> really? You got a nice butt? Yeah, you go to my MySpace page if you can really go through real quick. Oh, I'll have to get a look at that, Jenny. <laughs> but, of course, if I get a look at the MySpace page, I may have to take you to the Norman J. Pattis Auditorium. <laughs> I know Norman J. Pattis personally. <laughs> yeah. And I know enough to say produced by Norman J. Pattis when I'm done. <laughs> yeah, okay. Executive producer Norm Pattis. I'll say that right at the end. Yeah. You're going to say, how was that? I'm going to say, wait, wait, hold on. Executive producer, Norm Pattis. So you never, you never been with a girl my age? Well, not this week I haven't, no. <laughs> oh, wow. But, uh, Jenny, if you'd like to be next, uh, you know, the line forms to the right. If you like to be next, you, you got my number. Well, I don't have your number, but uh, I'm sure we can get that done. Believable. <laughs> I'll bet Norm was thrilled for that little piece of publicity right there. <laughs> Unbelievable. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Uh, I'm talking to the 52% uh, of women who at some point have been banging some other woman's husband. Rachel on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Rachel. I love your show. Why, We've thank you. Known about, I've heard about it when I was 20, because <laughs> I did a lot of mistakes. I gave, it away, I gave it away for free. I was an unpaid whore. Really? So anyway. Have I ever been with you? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you're young, you're full of hormones. But, uh, wow. Yeah. Well, you know, you know how to make a hormone, don't you? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. How? Kind of. Well, I think I heard you say it before. I don't remember. You know how to make a hormone? 
You want to really, you want to tell me? Don't pay her. Don't pay her. Oh, okay. Well, you want to hear my story? <laughs> sure. I'll try to make it short and sweet. Okay. Uh, I was, uh, I was um, kind of prostituting because you know I was looking for a guy, and I, I don't know. There must be something wrong with me. I mean, I'm attractive and everything. I don't know. Maybe I, I was too needy at the time. Anyway. <laughs> prostituting and he was my client and I got busted and I happened to have his phone number on my cell phone he gave me a, a 20 instead of a hundred you know I didn't look at it right so anyway so after I got out of jail I called him and he said well come after, down wait 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 after you got out of jail well I was there for four days no listen it's true it's it's not and so I came down to attention I've been, advertisers I've been taking care of him can we go back to Jenny? <laughs> go ahead, Rachel. So, anyway, so I've been taking care of him for months. And he comes so you and were in jail, and then you got out of what happened? Well, that's usually what happens when we get busted. You know, I didn't hurt anybody. I didn't do anything. What were, you, what were you busted for? Prostitution. Well, I had a friend get it down to lewd, but that's what basically it was. You had a friend get it down to lewd, yeah? Yeah, a lawyer. So anyway, uh, I've been working here for 20 months, and uh, he comes home at night. He Who has was that, wife. Larry H. Parker? Who did what? that? Who got it down to lewd? Was it Larry H. Parker? No. Okay, it's checking. So uh, I've been um, having sex with him. It's kind of fun. you know. So wait, so this is the guy who was paying you before, and now you're just doing yeah, it? Right, now I'm an unpaid whore, and I'm not too happy about it. But, you know, I've got a roof over my head, and I've saved $15,000, and... I paid off all my debt, so, you know, I can't really complain because look at the state of the economy, so, and, uh, I'm ready to go because, uh, I'm doing all the work here and he doesn't really care for me, but, you know, at least it's got my sexuality back. It's something steady and, uh, what can I say? Holy cow. So let me ask you a question. Are you out of the prostitution business now? I see here on the screen you're 57 years old. Right. Are you, uh, now out of the business or what? Oh, yeah, I'm out of the business. Because, uh, you know, guys seem to be a little bit. I like Dutchmen. They're more manly, you know. You like what? Dutchmen, you said? Oh, I've been to Europe a few times, and, uh, you know, European men are just uh, a, a lot more grown up. They're more mature. Guys here, you, you'd say, What would you like to bring me for a donation? Uh, 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 they're so stupid, you know. And, and it's really a shame the way the sexes fight with each other. It's too bad that. You know, women have to be the way they are. I'm not saying all women are that way, and it's too bad guys have to be the way they are. And I've heard some of the guys callers on your radio stations. They're pretty stupid. Hate to say it. But, really? Uh, well, it's about time that somebody with an intellect called in here and straightened them out. Well, I'm, you know, I'm only human. You know, I, I was beating my heart, and then finally I did the prostitution thing. I was never, I was really a happy hooker. I had guys taking me places, and I went to Vancouver twice on some guy's boat, and I really had a good time, you know, but uh, Johnny Law didn't like it, so what are you going to do? Is that so? That's right. And the only drug I did was a little 420, you know? I, I wasn't into anything else. And, I have uh, sand. I By the way, are you a regular listener? Oh, yeah, pretty much. That's great. How did you uh, How did you find out about our show? I was just tuning one day. Oh. And I came across I thought maybe you were down at cell block D and uh, everyone else was talking about it. Oh, you're so amusing. I wonder what's going to happen to you when you get older. You think you still have a lot of money? You think? Uh, yes, I do, because I won't give it to women like you to have sex with me. Yeah, yeah, right, right. You've been married four times, right? That's right. Haven't given my money to them either. Yeah, but in the end, you know, when the streets go nuts and criminals go crazy, they might just break into your house and you never know what they're going to do. And no one yeah. I've talked to today has a bigger criminal record than you, dear. Oh, what do you think? I feel bad about that? I'm gonna Clearly you don't. Society doesn't care about me and I could give a rat's ass about this. I didn't hurt anybody. I pay my bills. I have excellent credit. Really? That's a lot more than a lot of people could say. And it's better than being an unpaid whore. I, I want to speak to all the girls out You there. sound like you've got a bit of a chip on your shoulder there, darling. You watch your mouth or on the air. What did I say? Uh, <laughs> it ended in off. You can't use that word on the air. Sorry, sorry. But I wish girls wouldn't just lay down and let guys do that to them, you know? Don't be an unpaid Well, whore. they do. I yeah, know. that's your competition, darling. Who cares? Who well, cares? Well, clearly you. 
Because you know what? There's a lid for every pot. And I didn't think anybody would come to see me, but I'm quite attractive, and I like to wear dresses, and I'm a fe- I'm feminine. You uh-huh. Know? And I'm pretty real, and I'm pretty straight. I don't uh, pretty old. manipulate and do stuff like that. And you don't make me feel bad. That's what I I'm do. not trying to make you feel bad. I'm, I Hell, I think prostitution should be legal. I don't think people should go to jail for that. Yeah, in Germany, Holland, it's all legal. They pay taxes. It's, everything's fine over there. Right. Maybe you should move there. I've been thinking about it. Maybe you should just go. This, this country has really gone to the dark, man. You, you can't even do anything anymore. But it's okay to, to bugger little boys and to be homosexual. I got nothing no, no, to that's only the Catholic okay Church that, that does that. What? It's okay to do that stuff, but you can't, uh, you can't, uh, uh, you know, take donations for sex, and you're making people happy. Donations. Marriages. Well, those are not donations. That's any more than I'm getting a donation for coming here and doing this show today. Well, I'm sure you're making more money. So what? But they, but it, they, but not through don, not, darling. It's not through donations. Whatever. That's just what I'm saying because prostitution is a crime of words. You call it a donation to me thinking that you'll somehow avoid prostitution by saying someone gave you a donation. Sometimes I would say that. Sometimes I'd say, what kind of a gift would you like to bring me or... Same thing. For now. Same no, thing. You're not fooling anybody. You're a hooker. Yeah, so what? Or you could be a call girl. Whatever you say. You want to play semantics? Uh, no, you're playing semantics. Donations, gifts. Come on, you're a hooker. So? So be a hooker. Society doesn't care. I don't have a problem with the fact that you're a hooker. Well, I don't have a problem either. I just wish women... Don't would. call it donations or gifts. Tell everybody I'm a whore. No, a whore is, doesn't get money. A whore just does it like uh, maybe a married woman or something. No, so that's a slut. A whore gets money. Whatever. You want to play semantics or you think a whore... There's no semantics. These words have specific definitions, for God's sake. I don't think a whore is that. Don't I make me check the etymology of these words. I will. Well, it doesn't sound right. What is what are guys that does stuff like that? They're all sluts too, you know. They're oh, all- I'm a slut. There's no. I'm the king of the sluts. <laughs> but I'm not a whore. Yeah, well, I you're a whore. I don't consider myself. I'm a, a slut because I didn't go with just anybody. I didn't go with blacks. If they didn't pay oh, me, oh, you up didn't money, go with blacks. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I didn't care for black. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, wait, now I have to tell. I have to ask. I have to ask. Sorry. Oh, so if you met Barack Obama, would you only go halfway? No. You know, they, they scare the hell out of me, and I had a girlfriend. He really? busted every bone in her body 35 years ago. No way. So we're not going to see you on the 50-yard line in Hamilton High, are we? I doubt it. Really? What if I gave you 50 bucks? See, that's another thing. I wouldn't go with cheap guys. If they couldn't give me what I wanted, I well, I have no idea what you charged on. I haven't seen your rate card. Sometimes I would go 200 Sometimes I would say, what would they give me for my time? And they'd go 200 five. My good. Elton Spitzer paid a lot more than that. Jackass. That big fat ass guy. He gave me 500 one time. Boy, what a tub of blubber he was. Uh, you know, if I ask who, then she's going to slander somebody. We'll have to bleep it anyway. Now, I don't want to know who. Name. I don't Some know jackass guy. Don't even ask. Biggest, fattest one there. Well, well, darling, the, the money was green, and you took it. That's right. That's right. I well, it wasn't Rush Limbaugh. Was he out there again? Close my eyes. Oh, it boy. was overpassed. A lot of times they just wanted affection, you know, and uh, it was a lot of fun dressing up. And, well, yeah, I can tell. And God, yeah. if I don't hear fun here. I hear one bitter broad on the phone. You know, I'm a little nervous, and I'm a little tired right now. You've been, you've been banging for money today? What's the deal? No, no, it's not that. Well, you know, you know, talk to a woman when she's 57, when you've seen the things that I've seen and the way and how crass people can be and talking about toilet seat. And it's true, but it's just a shame, you know, that men and women treat each other. Do you have an IRA or a 401k there, 57? Maybe you should have been putting some of that away. Uh, I have an inheritance. I don't even touch it. You have an inheritance and you're out uh, working as a hooker? Not anymore. I only did it for like, you know, they say the average woman does it for three years. I did it for two. Really? Mm-hmm. Hang on a second here. David, what did you want to say to Rachel? Oh, boy. Who I gets the rat's ass David has? Come on. I mean, come on. She, she thinks that European men are smarter. Why do you think American men date foreigners and like foreigners better, too? You just proved a point that you're a moron yourself. Come on. What? Duh. You know, y- yeah... Well, I'm half your own. Real educated. Life. You're a prostitute. You're a whore. Come on. I'm not educated. I went through the to the eleventh grade. I think I'm not ashamed of anything I did. I never hurt anybody. I paid my taxes. I paid my credit, and I bet that's more than you can say. 
Not pay my credit. So I had no you, debt. Where you had to pay yours off, I, I never had to pay people. my debt off from smart of my money than you are. Thank you. you. Use people. At least I give a service, you know. I've never ripped anybody off, and, you know, you can say whatever you want. <laughs> hey, hey, watch your mouth. We're on the air. Now, you can go ahead and have sex with guys for money and do whatever illegal things you want to do when you're off the air. But on the air, you can't use the F word and other curse words. You can't do it. Sorry. I got it. This is not a whorehouse here. Oh. Uh, Ryan, what did you want to say to Rachel? Yeah, I was just wondering if she really hates this country so much. Why doesn't she leave? I'll pay for a ticket to Germany, but I want her passport when she gets there. i got a word for you. Drop dead. <laughs> By the way, Rachel is very happy. She's very happy with her life. She wants you to know. Yeah, and she shouldn't have done porn anyway. She would have been. You're a loser. You gotta have somebody tell you what to do. You don't know that you should wear a condom. <laughs> yeah, laugh. How many times have you been there? You don't probably pay child support. I don't pay anything. I don't pay anything, and I don't pay women like you either. I'll tell you that. Bob, what do you want to say to Rachel? Whatever. Whatever. Bob? Rachel, did you say you're 57 years old? Yes. Jesus Christ, 57? Some guy's got to pay a 57-year-old? Rachel, do us hey, a favor. Put the hey. lid for every pot, you know? Some listen, like listen, you know listen, 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 you bitch. Do us a favor. Take a gun, put the gun to your head, and pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. Do us all a favor. Take a gun, put it to your head, and pull the trigger. Please, Rachel. I don't want to do away, you. Rachel. Tom, please, Tom, blow her up, Tom. <laughs> blow her up and blow her up. It's coming, please. it's coming, it's you coming. The woman, you jerk. Louie, what did you want to say to Rachel? Oh, my God, I'm from Europe, and this bitch is crazy. You little penis. <laughs> she's, she's saying she's not a whore. She's getting paid for what she does. She's a whore. She probably molests little girls. And the only reason she's getting paid is so she can't leave. That's all you do, right? She still thinks we're talking to the last caller. Yeah. He's gone already. We got a new guy now. He, he's annoying, man. Get her off the air. <laughs> James, what did you want to say to Rachel? I just have to agree with Rachel. They should make prostitution legal because what else would she do to get money? She's too stupid. Yeah, well, oh, there's a lot of women that do that. Look at the papers, dear. Look at Craigslist. Look at City Vibe. Look at that. I don't have to. I get laid for free. <laughs> You feel bad? You don't make me feel bad. You're a piece of white trash. Using women, and you think you're all big and smart and all boy puffed up. You're the big guy because you screw some girl. They want to be used, honey. You to make other people feel bad. You feel better now because you put somebody else down. I'm not ashamed of a thing I did, okay? You want to call me bitter? And you're happy about it, too. Whatever. It takes bitter and sweet, honey. You just happen to catch me on a little bitter. Okay? Oh, boy. I'm sick of you guys. I found this country sucks. You're users, and that's why this country's going down the tubes. And I hope all of you people lose your... Now you see how it's... Hey! What are you... Watch doing? your mouth. You can't use that word on the air. Do you understand? Yeah. You claim to be intelligent, and I'm telling you what you're doing is not allowed, and we have to believe it, and it's illegal. Okay? So stop doing it. Right. Trey, what did you want to say to Rachel? Hey, Rachel, you must, uh, you know, gave too many free service jobs because you got the meanest list in the world. He's not like Jim Carrey from The Cable Guy. <laughs> uh, Rachel is quieting down now. If she hey. can't say the F word, she has nothing to say. Hey, hey Tom, hey, how does Jimmy look, dude? <laughs> What's that? I said, how does Jeannie look, man? <laughs> I can't hear you, Trent. <laughs> oh, how did Jenny look? Oh, I got uh, yo, I've got Jenny's MySpace page up in front of me. I want to tell you. Hey, hey tell me how she looks. Huh? Come on, baby. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll go out to the 50-yard line with that. Absolutely. Look at that. Hey, man, did, did she say she was believing in French? <laughs> <laughs> Why, Yes. Hey, hey, Tom, you should fly me on my face, face. By, uh, by the way, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny is not charging a penny. <laughs> hey, Tom, you we're, we're going to have an assembly at the Norman J. Patterson Auditorium, me and Jenny. <laughs> I'm going to wear my Laker jersey. 
Hey, what, hey you swore that Will Chamberlain jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Some like it. one 800 5 From Hollywood. This is Tom Likas at one 800 800 tom <laughs> We're having fun here. We're talking to the 52%, that's the majority of women who have had sex with some other woman's husband. Maybe you're doing it right now. It's what we want to hear about Angie on the Tom Likas yes, show. Tom. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. Good, I'm a big fan. Cool. Thank God for commercials. I couldn't have gone on after that fiasco. Thank God. Well, a little bit about my story. I'm going to represent a little bit of a different spectrum here. Um, I am a 35-year-old divorced woman. Um, I met a guy online. I'm not quite sure really why I was talking with him. It was just something that was kind of intriguing. There was a connection, if that makes sense. Um, this particular person lives across country, and the story that I was given was that his wife had a medical condition, and they had not been able to be intimate for about four years. That's um, as good an explanation as any. Yeah, sure, and I, you know, it probably. And you bought it right away, that. didn't you? Well, part of it too was. Um, Apparently, a lot of the guys that I attract do not listen to you because they fall in love very quickly and want to get married and have more kids, and I have no interest in that. I like my life. I own my own house, have my own business. I have no interest in getting married again. I'm not bitter. It's just not something that I feel like I'm good at, and I don't want to do it. Um, I'm a very sexual person, and it... I don't know. I guess I just felt like it was something where I'm not going to be a home wrecker. I didn't want to know the wife, didn't want to know about, you know, the older kids, that type of thing. Um, and it was fun for a couple of times. He would come to town every month or so. And, you know, after that, I started feeling guilty and I did end it. But, but, uh, I don't know. It fulfilled a need that I had uh, without creating a relationship and, cre you know, helped with a need that he had or supposedly had. And it was great. It was hot. We had a wonderful time. And I just decided it wasn't for me anymore. So what made you decide it wasn't for you anymore? I mean, it was that good for that long. Well, um, probably, I would have to say probably guilt. I did start feeling guilty. Um, even if the situation that, or the the story that he told me was true. I did feel bad for her. Um, I guess there's a part of me that, you know, she's lucky he's not hooking up with some psycho woman, you know, that's going to start stalking him and that type of thing. So it sounds stupid. I I don't know. I'm not really doing her a favor, but, you know, I'm not a homewrecker either. So I don't think that I could ever do that if I knew the wife or if I knew the family or they lived down the street or, you know, something like that. Well, so you did it, and now uh, does he call you or send you text messages? or? Oh, God, yes. He emails all the time, and I just, I've just stopped responding. I just don't respond anymore. I'm sure uh -huh. he'll find somebody else, and I warned him, you know, you better be careful. Most women out there are psychotic. You do not want to mess around with uh, too many women. You've got to be careful. I mean, I I protect myself whenever I have sex. I know that I'm clean. I don't have anything. Um, I, On top of that, I have very good birth control. I take care of myself. Um, a lot of women are not like that. You know, he has money. I've seen all the photos of the toys and the boats and the motorcycles and the house and you know, all of that stuff, but, you know, that doesn't really impress me. That doesn't mean that it, I, I don't care. That's not what I'm looking for right now in my life is a man to take care of me. I understand. Angie, thank you for this. I appreciate the call. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing, man? I'm okay. Hey, man, I just wanted to call, and first of all, about that lady, man, what is up with that? I mean, any guy that's got to pay a 57-year-old woman to, you know, get what they want, man, that's just pathetic, dude. By uh, the way, she's still she's still here. She has not hung up the phone. Oh, she hasn't? No. Oh, my gosh. She's not saying anything anymore, but she's still here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's a desperate woman right there. <laughs> Rachel, he says you're a desperate woman. See, she won't speak anymore. But anyways, Tom... But she's Wilder. there.
Well, I wanted to, I wanted to call and thank you, man, because about three years ago, man, I was the most nervous guy. I couldn't talk to girls, you know. I couldn't get girls for anything, man. And you know, I, eventually, you know, one of my friends turned me on to your show, and I was just like, "Wow, this guy knows what he's talking about." You know, I started trying a few things, and now I'm just basically getting more than a toilet seat, like you say. I love that. And Dallas, oh boy, I'll tell you what, what better place to be getting more ass than a toilet seat? I know, man. I mean, the girls out here are... That is prime ass. I know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I want to thank you, Tom. And uh, can you take me out with the biggest, baddest bong rip you ever did? I certainly can. Can we all just get a bong? Chris on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, man. I had to call about her. Um, I don't know what's her issue, actually. I, I just, oh, you're talking about Rachel? It, um, I'm talking about Rachel plus the one that was just on the line. I, I, don't, I don't know the issue with, with, with those types of females. I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with Ashley because, hey, if I had a married lady, hey, I, hey I'm going to take her down. <laughs> That's just how it is. But some of them, they, 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 they have reasons to... Just reasons behind the things they do, and it, it it shouldn't be. But I love the show. Hello, I'm here. I'm listening to you. <laughs> Man, y'all make me feel like a fool right now. <laughs> We're just yeah. let you. We we'll let you talk. Did you see Jenny? <laughs> I've seen. I've seen her on uh, MySpace. Yeah, MySpace page. Yes, I have. Man, yeah. Tell her. Yeah, I have a MySpace too. I'm the king of MySpace, and I'm an artist. Is that so? Yeah, I'd love to have her. You'd, you'd love to be out there on the 50-yard line with Jenny, wouldn't you? Man, I'd do it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a running back, too, yeah. I'm a running back. Are you a running back? Yeah. Oh, boy. The Tom Likas Show.